Oh, we cannot wait to have you. Today is a good day. It's a good day. It's National Filet Mignon Day. Yeah, we have Burns Steakhouse here in the house. We got Chef Hob with us this morning, and we've been waiting for this pretty much all morning long. We want to know how you make your perfect steaks. How do you cook it so perfectly? You ready to reveal this secret? Indeed, yes. Um, Indeed, yes. All right, let's do it. The best way is the dry edging, of course. But uh, when you're cooking the steak, butter, minimum seasoning with our steak, salt and black pepper. So just salt and pepper. You got that pan really hot right now. What is that at right now? I would say a medium about, heat, a high heat. Uh, preferable medium high heat. Good. I won't stick my hand directly in it then. And when you're cooking it. Put it down, let it, let it sit there for a few minutes. If you keep turning it, it will lose some of the juice mm -hmm. and it will create more crust, heavy crust, and you will lose some of the flavor. So you too. have to be patient. You don't want to be constantly turning it. You want to leave it in one spot for how, how long would you say? I would say about five minutes. Okay. About five wow. minutes, okay. A lot of people would think that would, that would burn. Oh, look, you're here. You magically <laughs> appeared, Bill. Wow. We got steak next door, he's here. That's the fastest I've ever seen Bill Logan move between studios there. Hey, Bill, I got a little something here for you. Oh. I don't normally carry knives in my jacket pocket, but I, I did for you. Oh, I, brought, no, brought, I brought you a steak knife. I also got you a fork here, my friend. Sweet. All right, Chef great. Chef Bob, what's the color that you're looking for um, if you're kind of eyeballing it? You want that char, that crust on it? Very nice crust on the bottom. And you will see most half, at least half of the meat turning gray before, yeah, before it turns it over. See that right there over yep. on that yep. side. Nice so, marbling there. And you've got, a, you've got a sauce here. You want to tell us about the sauce while this thing's cooking, Chef? This is, uh, right here is a cheaper cut of meat, uh, short rib. Mm -hmm. uh, usually good for braise or roast. A longer time. And so if you're not investing in the filet mignon maybe one day, you're looking for other cuts of meat that you said you just cook a little bit longer and can still taste. I can't help myself. Good, I right? gotta try this here. Indeed, this is even more uh, better. You will tell yourself when you try it. All right. Let's cook longer. The flavor you infuse in it. Well, we are cheating on filet mignon day because this is short rib and it is a cheaper cut. And he's going to pour the uh, the sauce on here and we're going to give it a shot. What kind of sauce is that? This is just a reduction of the braising sauce. Reduction okay. of the braising sauce. Well, so you just leave it on and cook it a little bit more. All right. Now, while James and Bill are digging into that, Go what's ahead. this other dish that you have right here? That's another cut of meat. This is the uh, filet mignon. That's, That's the filet mignon. Oh. Okay. Yeah, medium rare. Ahead. All right. Little and short ribs here. For anybody who mm. says they eat their meat well done, you can what eat would you say stuff. to those people? I, I'm a medium rare person myself. What do you say to the well done folks out there? You know, sometimes it don't is like. Don't go to Burns. Don't go to Burns. <laughs> yeah, don't go to Burns. <laughs> right. No, we we'll cook to anybody's pre uh, preference, but mm. uh, we have some people that order well done tuna. To me, that is like a tuna out of the can. If you cook you're it that, the flavor that way, yeah. right? If you cook it that far, you're losing, you're killing the flavor. Try at least medium if you're a well-done person, right? You can take a chance. Yeah. Can you guys this give a delicious. little reaction right now? How this is, is awesome. this? I can't. My mouth's full of steak and it's delicious. It's this melting short, in my mouth. The short rib is just fantastic. Yeah, and the short rib is a great call I because was yeah. say, How did I not get a fork here? All right, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of that after the show. Chef, this is fantastic. Chef, this is, really this is terrific. Tell us, um, you know, if you're going to be going to Burn Steakhouse, you know, you get the filet and everything. You said it's one of the best best deals in town. Tell us about that. Our meats are the best deal in town. Mm -hmm. uh, the way we age them, the way we take care of them. Our yield is only 25% on most of the cuts of the meat. Make sure it's trimmed. Make sure it's, uh, you know, got a little bit of marbling in there. It's, but, all, uh, it's all trimmed. Sometimes it's not the nicest cut. You would have two, three pieces, but you have nothing to lose. And where are my manners? Ashley or... Yeah, here you go. I got to celebrate. Go. Chef Hob. Here you go, darling. It's your favorite holiday. It's the filet mignon. All right, I'm giving it a try. Mm. Happy filet mignon day. Happy filet mignon day. Make one at home for a right. special person. Right. Or you know what? Short ribs, they're not bad either. You can't even speak. It's mm -hmm. just too good. We'll be back right after this. Hot off the grill.